what a sunny and beautiful day yeah. it is in Moabal, Cebu, Philippines. Guys, we have been here for the last few days and it has been nothing short of paradise and gorgeous and beautiful weather yeah. and beachy tropical vibes and lovely human beings. My goodness, I cannot wait. We are. Just, oh, go ahead. No, sorry. sorry. No. I'm like interrupting. We're just excited to talk about it. Literally, everyone that we've met here has been sugar sweet. Over the last couple of days, we made friends with people at Ven's Kitchen. I'm not sure if we've talked about it yet, but you guys can see those vlogs if you click the link in the description because they are the nicest people guys. we have ever come across, and that seems to be everyone in the Philippines. With remarkable consistency. <laughs> yeah. And not just nice as in like polite, like hello, how are you, but nice, like come into my house, let's go do karaoke. Yeah. Here, come sit down, have a drink, and they're like strangers that become your best friends yeah. in like minutes. <laughs> want to teach you everything about Filipino culture. I've learned so much about the Visayas culture, Visayas provinces. I've yeah. learned about the food and the people and it's been beautiful guys. Absolutely beautiful. It really has but we're super excited today because we are going to do the sardine run here in Mualbao which is like apparently one of the most famous things to do and you literally just jump in the water and snorkel. And literally so we are staying on this place called <laughs> We're staying in this place called Panaksama Beach and it's less of a beach and more of a rocky area that you just jump into the ocean from yeah. <laughs> but the water is absolutely crystal clear and just steps in front of us. I'm talking maybe 30 feet or 10 meters in front of us. You're able to be on the coral reef and drop off and watch the sea turtles and tons of colorful fish and it's just so so cool. But anyways, to the beach! Woo! Hello! Hey! 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 Welcome to my channel and subscribe! Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Listen to him, he knows what he's talking about. Como estas? Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. How about you? Ah. Maayo. Salamat. You know, I'm a reporter. You're a reporter? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, reporter of Sibin. Yeah, of Sibin. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to meet you guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you later. So Case what were point. we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. happens all of the time. Yeah. Literally everywhere we go, it's people like that that are just sweet, funny, welcoming, just trying to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I think it's islander personality. Yeah, I don't very think true. that a person could live on this like tropical paradise and be in a bad mood. You can't. You literally wake up in paradise. Yeah. Now I do have something for the Pinoys out there that are watching this video. How do you feel about the dogs here, guys? Oh my god. It's crazy. The people are so lovely, but I'm kind of scared of the dogs sometimes. The dogs are so violent and mean. But it's crazy. Given, maybe they could also just be like protective of their owners, which I think may yeah. be what the case is. All I know is like I have never been so scared of dogs in my life. We've gotten chased by two of them in the last week. Yeah, we're like riding on down a rocky road on a dirt bike, literally like from having like a calm, peaceful dinner, you, and then it was just like, oh my god, hold on! Yeah, and I think I've said this in other videos while we've been here in Wall Wall. We have been told that rabies shots are really cheap here. It's about a hundred bucks for the whole yeah. series. So get them, because yeah. We're gonna it's do just that. better to have it than not have it, so. <laughs> So right now, we are on the road that lines the beach, and this is filled with dive centers, it's filled with resorts, it's filled with coffee shops and cafes. There isn't a lot of ton of good Wi-Fi here, but we have heard that there is a French coffee shop that we're about to pass on the right-hand side that has some booming Wi-Fi. But more importantly, there is a bunch of places where you can rent snorkel equipment, do island hopping tours, and go to Pescador Island, which is right across from here and is a beautiful diving spot. As a matter of fact, what this place is famous for is mostly the ocean. So we have made it to Veranda. 
Daniel and I have come here every single night to see the sunset because the sunset sets right behind us and that's where Negros Island is. So as you're seeing the sunset over the horizon, it turns the sky all sorts of beautiful colors. It looks like cotton candy and it sets right behind the Negros Mountains. And anyway, it's just such a beautiful and peaceful spot to grab a drink and to get some food and it's pretty good. So we're going to do that now. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna do that now, and they're so lovely. They've even agreed to hold our stuff while we snorkel to keep it safe. So I love them even more than I did four days ago and for the last week when we've been here every night. <laughs> so do you remember when you guys were in school and then maybe you like went into your classroom and they didn't have assigned seats, but you would always sit at this one chair and you kind of like hot seat it? That's how we feel about this little patio area. It's my spot. If anybody takes it, coming after you. You need a lot of time. This place has incredible drinks, and they're what? They're like three twenty. So like you pay like just a little more than usual, but when you have this view, it is so worth it, and it's so good. And it's not before noon. I think it's noon. This is socially acceptable. I I think it's five o'clock somewhere. That's what I'm gonna say. As you guys can see, this place is beautiful. The water is crystal clear. The snorkeling is on point. And as a matter of fact, let's see. Right where that boat is back there is where all of the divers are and where all of the snorkelers are. Because literally right in front of us, where you see the orange buoys, that's where the, the coral reef drops off into the ocean. It's one big shelf. And that's where you can see the sardine run, all the sea turtles, and some really crazy fish. Which is why we're so excited to be snorkeling and showing you all that today. So we're done with my pina colada. Well, I guess now I am. And it's time to get into the water. This isn't a super swimmable beach because it has a lot of coral and so sometimes you have to be careful where you step. But I'm gonna get in anyway while we wait for our snorkel here. I love the ocean. Look at how crystal clear this is. Ugh. And it's such a hot day, guys. It's almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and this feels like love on my skin. Anyway, Daniel's gonna grab the snorkels, and then we're gonna get underwater. That coral I'm stepping on right now is so slippery. I know we're not supposed to step on coral. However, it's the only way that you can get into the water because the immediate moment that you jump into Panaxama Beach, you're on a coral reef. So just be very, very gentle because there's lots of little fishies around. And guys, the water is just so beautiful and clear. This is paradise. <laughs> and there's Boothang doing things and other people snorkeling. I have returned with G. Yay! That's the Slippery-ish. Yep, Very slippery. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you look quite sexy. Oh yeah, you do. Know, I should bottle it off. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ready to go. Kind of uncomfortable. I think this is a left face look. Try one more time. Yeah. Smile. Choo choo. Man, it has been a minute since I've snorkeled. This has been. Gilly Trauma Ground just has us that traumatized. Yeah, bro. Watch that video at the description. Because we haven't been snorkeling since, and it's because we legitimately thought we were going to die in the middle of the ocean that day. Thankfully, we didn't, but we definitely thought we were. This is why we don't pollute, guys. Don't use plastic. 
Thank you very much. Thank you.